Hello fellow makeup lovers, how are you guys doing today? Welcome back to another day of Amy All April. Today is my birthday, so I'm gonna do my makeup and use a bunch of my favorite products, and I thought I would just go ahead and film it and just do it together. I've been meaning to do my makeup for like two hours now, but I have such a big family, I just keep getting phone call after phone call wishing me happy birthday, so I'm finally getting a free moment to sit down and do my face. I don't have any crazy plans, obviously not, because we're still in the middle of a pandemic, but I'm just gonna get dinner and probably drink with my sister to celebrate being 24. But anyways, just gonna go ahead and do some like very glam, glowy skin and also some purple eyeshadow. I pulled out three different palettes that I really love and I feel like it's gonna be such a beautiful combination. So let's just go ahead and jump on into skin. I'm gonna start off with the Becca First Light Priming Filter just to add a little bit of hydration. My skin is super red today and I don't know why. I also think I got a bug bite right here. So for foundation, I'm gonna go into the LYS Triple Fix Serum Foundation in the shade LG1. I really like this. I feel like it has like a decent amount of coverage, but it still looks really glowy and soft on the skin. So I figured I would use it today because I wanna add a little bit more coverage. And I'm also going to mix in a pump of the Auric Glow Lust in the shade Morganite just to add some extra dewiness. Just mixing that together, it does look like a lot of product, but that's just because it's pump of both and when it gets blended in and everything, it will not look cakey. I'm just gonna go ahead and grab the BK Beauty 106 brush to blend that into my skin. The foundation is a little bit yellow for me, just a tiny bit, so I am gonna make sure to bring it down my neck, especially since I've got more skin showing. We're not in sweater weather anymore, thank goodness. My brother was talking about how good the weather is right now, like it's just the perfect weather and it made me think of the Miss Congeniality quote when the one contestant gets asked what the perfect date is and she says April 25th because it's not too hot and it's not too cold or something along those lines. I was like, we're one day off, but it's still pretty good weather. I feel like I just love that foundation and the Glow Lust combo so much because it just has such a beautiful, natural dewiness to the skin, has really good coverage without again being cakey because I don't like full coverage. So I think I would call this more of like a medium coverage, which I think is perfect for me. And then for concealer, I went ahead and pulled out the Nabla Close Up Concealer in the shade Porcelain. I just really like this. I feel like it has decent coverage but it doesn't dry out my under eyes. It's also a little bit lighter, so I think it'll kind of help with the foundation a little bit. I'm just gonna kind of highlight my face. Add a little bit there, because I got some extra redness. Wow, that was uneven. And then just gonna blend that in with the Anissa Beauty Concealer Brush. My fave. I'm so excited too, because I made my favorite cake. The recipe is called 333 Cake. And I don't know where my dad got it from. I'm not sure exactly. So I'm not like trying to steal or claim anyone's recipe. I got it from my dad, don't know where he got it from, but it's a chocolate and coffee cake. And it doesn't even really taste that coffee-y. Like it doesn't taste like coffee cake, but you use three cups of coffee and you don't use like any water or any butter or anything. And it just, it's like super, moist <laughs> and just like the best chocolate cake ever. I could honestly eat that cake every single day and I would be very content. Probably gonna eat it for breakfast tomorrow if I know myself at all. I'm gonna leave it on screen real quick, the recipe, in case you wanna screenshot it and try it out for yourself because it's really, really good. I was attempting to make a TikTok on it, but I'm not a professional baker or cook or anything. I'm actually a hot mess. So I don't know if that's actually gonna end up going up or not, but I highly recommend trying the recipe out if you like chocolate and you like coffee. Man, this bug bite is killing me. It is so red and so itchy. All right, I don't think I'm gonna go in with any powder today. I'm pretty sure I'm not. Maybe I'll do all of my face and then I'll lightly, lightly powder, we'll see. I'm gonna go ahead and take the Auric Glow Lust in the shade Pie right now. I'm just gonna take like a tiny little bit, like that much, just kind of stippling that in with the Anissa Beauty Buffing Bronzer Brush. Just to add a really natural bronze. 
take it around my forehead. And then because I feel like going all out today, I'm also gonna take the Fenty Beauty Matchstick in the shade Amber, just to contour a little bit with that same brush. Okay, now for blush, I'm gonna go into the Fenty Ape Muse Color and Light Creme Blush. I love this one. You, I think you can tell because it's super dirty, but I'm just gonna stick to this side today and I think I'm just gonna use my finger and just add a bit of color to my cheeks. Skin, it looks so glowy and pretty right now, but I would expect nothing less from a bunch of my favorite products all together. I think I'm just gonna slightly go over the area where my concealer is just to blend right here. So it's all meshing together. And just so that my face makeup doesn't completely melt into my mask, I'm gonna go into the Danessa Myricks Beauty Evolution Powder in the shade 01. It's just a translucent powder. And I'm gonna take a big, fluffy, like a highlighting brush almost. This is the tapered highlight brush from Anissa Beauty. Guess it's an Anissa Beauty kind of day that was unplanned for, but I'm just gonna go ahead and pick up a little bit and just lightly dust that over my face. Okay, now let's go ahead and jump on into the eyes. Which primer should I use? I think I have the Juvia's Place primer in front of me, and honestly, I've done several wear tests with this, and I think it lasts really well, so. I am okay with using it today, and I think that it'll be fine, even though I don't know that I would consider this holy grail yet. I'm also gonna go in with just a little bit, like I don't wanna go in with a ton of coverage. I'm so excited to do like a full, cool toned, purpley look. At first I was thinking that I was gonna do like a cool toned eye look with the Lunar Beauty Eternal Eclipse palette, um, which I actually did like the exact tutorial that I was thinking of in my head on my Patreon. I can leave a picture on screen here real quick in case you want to see what that look is. Um, and I loved how that turned out. So I was thinking maybe I would do that, but then I was like, eh, maybe I should just do something different and do something more colorful. So like I said, I've got three palettes that I pulled out. The first is the Lavender Chinchilla palette from Tammy Tanuka. I was really thinking like focusing on like the purple mattes in here, maybe like that on the lower lash line or something. And then I pulled out the Club Nebula palette because I really love the deeper purples here and I thought they would be a really great addition. And then last but not least, I pulled out Adept Plain Jane because these are my favorite shimmer formulas currently. And I was just thinking either ACI 11 or ACI 6 all over the lid could be a moment. So that's kind of what I've got planned. I think I'm gonna go ahead and start off with this like light mauve purple. It's gonna go over my lid with my finger real quick so we don't have any creases before we put down the first matte shade. Just go ahead and throw that on. blending it out. The mattes in this palette are pretty light, which is why I wanted to pull in the Club Nebula palette for some depth and some smokiness. Starting off with that as my transition and blending it lightly, pretty much all over the crease. I'm bringing it up a little bit higher just because it is so light. Okay, next I'm going to go into this purple right here, and I'm going to take that on a smaller pencil slash crease brush and just bring that a little bit further down. I think I'm gonna bring it only about halfway in and then I'm gonna go back into the previous brush and just blend over that after I kind of just place down exactly where I want the color to be. These mattes aren't blending as nicely as they normally do over the Juvia's Place eye primer because this is my first time using these mattes with this primer. It's not bad, like I feel like I can still make it work, but I am noticing that it's not as easy. Sorry, I should have said I'm going back in with the first shade that I used just to help it blend a little bit more. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take the shade Cylon from Club Nebula. I'm gonna pop that in my outer V. Pigment is real. I'm also taking a touch of Cylon and just connecting it to the lower lash line. 
Okay, I think now I'm gonna go into this purple right here just because I feel like it's such a beautiful, vibrant shade. It's gonna look so pretty along the lower lash line. I'm gonna use this shade on the inner corner. I haven't fully decided how I'm gonna go about the lid yet, so let's just go ahead and do this one. It's a beautiful silvery, blue, purpley duochrome. And then on my lid a little bit. Okay, I think I'm gonna go ahead and do ACI 6 all over the lid. I just feel like I'm wanting a little bit of the lighter purple. I mean, both of those shades are absolutely stunning. I'm gonna go ahead and use my finger as well just because I feel like it works really well with this formula. So pretty. I'm gonna go into my outer V brush and just lightly blend over the edge. And I think I'm also gonna kind of just wipe that off real quick and then lightly go over the crease. Okay, I feel like that looks really pretty. Before I do eyeliner or mascara, I'm going to do my highlighter really quickly. I'm doing this in a different order than normal for a reason, so just bear with me a second. Gonna go ahead and take Ofra Pillow Talk because it's one of my favorite highlights ever, and I just couldn't help but use it today. Let's see. Forever losing my highlight brushes. <laughs> go ahead and throw that on the tops of my cheekbones. I'm using a Sigma Soft Blend 30. I feel like I haven't heard a soul talk about the Soft Blend brushes from Sigma, and I think it's because they're only available in a set, unfortunately, so I don't think you can get them individually, but they're honestly so good. I use them constantly. They're all like different like tapered highlight brush shapes, but in different sizes. Like we got really tiny ones that look like they're almost small enough for eyeshadow all the way up to like way up to bigger ones. This is the Soft Blend 60, so you can kind of see the trend. Since it's a special occasion, I'm pulling out my Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. I just feel like this sets the skin so beautifully. My skin's already super glowy, but I just thought I would go ahead and add this, and I wanted to do it before I did um, mascara. It's been forever since I set my skin, honestly. Like, I think it's been like a solid three months. Okay, let me grab something to help my face dry. Oh man. <laughs> I look a little bit like a grease ball now. But I'm not mad at it. <laughs> I think I used too much. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I love glowy skin, but I'm like, is there a limit? Because <laughs> I think I hit it. For liner, I'm gonna do the We Makeup Only Eye Pencil in the shade Obsidian Black. I'm gonna do my waterline, my tight line. I'm gonna use the Makeup Geek Extension Effect Mascara, and then I'll be right back. So for lips, I definitely wanna do some lip liner specifically, because I have like a little pimple that decided to show up, so I'm trying to line over that and cover it. So, ooh, you know what I should use? There's never been a more perfect moment. I'm gonna use the Alamar Cosmetics Birthday Suit Lip Liner. And then I'm gonna go over that with the Alamar Cosmetics Birthday Suit Lip Gloss. All right, so this is the finished look. I love how it turned out. I feel like the skin is super, super glowy, glossy lips, glossy lids. It's my vibe, so I hope you enjoyed getting ready with me today, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.